I really don't have very much iron, do I? I had 19 plus 1, which is 20. There's a knowledge bomb for you. There's a reference for you. So I'm cooking it up. I haven't got an anvil anymore. My anvil broke, and I got it from the raw vault. And I probably should have picked one up in the other vault. But I wanted to put Silk Touch and Efficiency 3 on my Chromatic Iron Cutter. If I can. I'm not even sure if I can. I guess we'll find out. Anyway. Welcome. I'm Altrius. This is Altrius Plays, and we're playing Fort Hunter's Sky Vault. This is a Skyblock world. We've seen a couple of episode episodes now, and I'm very eager to get into this new crystal that I made at the end of the last episode, but I was just having a look around, making sure I was prepared, and I wanted to see what I could do with my Chromatic Iron Cutter, and... One of the things I really should probably be doing with it is putting fortune on it. Uh, but I'm not going to do that because I've only got a few fortune one books. So I'm thinking what we do is we... I've got some unbreaking as well, but let's talk about that. Here. Um, fortune, I think, can wait. We can just do a whole bunch of bolts, right? Um, but I really need an anvil. How do you make an anvil? How much do I need? Is it a lot? It's, it's quite a lot. Just look, that's <laughs> that's one. <laughs> this is it's one. It's not it's not enough iron. Um So what I've decided to do instead then is to run another raw vault, try and get another anvil, or at least a whole bunch more iron. Um but this is gonna take damage if I do that, so I'm just gonna use my old uh I just use this one that I made actually, that seems really good. I made this by accident. We've got way more chromatic iron than we've got actual iron, so we'll put this down, ready for next time. We'll break ourselves off a vault crystal, and I'm going to jump in. So I'll see you in a couple of minutes when I have done this, and we're ready to make the actual proper real good vault go. Why? Point of interest. In this point of interest. It's a level zero vault. It's a raw vault. It's not fizzling. <laughs> this one's not fizzling. And I do not have the mining speed to break that. It's taken forever. So... Yeah, it turns out not all of them are fizzle spawners, although it might be because of my level now. Anyway, thought you might like to know. Okay, so it's been a while since I recorded the intro to this episode. In fact, it's been a full day, but welcome to the nice morning of rainbow. Is this rainbow a circle? It is. Look at that. They thought of everything. You think of everything, don't you? So I've done a lot of work since the clip that you just watched of me starting uh, the, the episode because I haven't had time to run the vault and I thought, why not set up some stuff? So up here we've got a bit of a tree farm going on. Uh, I grew a walnut and a jungle tree, but my jungle tree hasn't dropped any saplings, so that's a bit rude. And an oak tree. Boop. I've put more water up here. And my water... Did I show you my water shrine? I made a little waterfall. It's really nice. And of course, all this... Uh, all this farmland, everything's perfectly good. So I made another couple of vault crystals while you were away as well. These weren't interesting, so don't worry about it. But now, finally time. Let's run that vault, put some stuff away, and I'll be with you in a minute. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. any of these will do. Oh, that one. I need a, a thing to put them in and then push a button. It just gives me a random one of the ones I made. Right, time for a real vault. <laughs> I've opened it, but I've not prepared myself. Right. Here we go. Right, beginner's grace, two more on this. No curses, no bad things. We've got a honey-flavoured vault. That's nice. What sort of... Oh, I didn't bring my... Um, this is picking... Oh, it is axing. Never mind. I didn't bring my shovel, but that's okay. So we should carry some of this. It is stripped dark oak, not actual dark oak, but that's probably okay. Not doing too well here, actually. First room. You don't die. Why did that guy lag on his local computer? Not very fast. We really need to improve our mining speed. This has got efficiency on it and everything. Remember that? Cool. Uh, at least our shield is doing work. I do not know how to even work out where they might be. I kind of don't want to know, actually, now I come to think about it. <laughs> Just don't tell me and I'll be in blissful ignorance forevermore. Ah, oh, Christ, that's where they all are. Leg it! <laughs> this first room is an actual nightmare. Should we just leave? <laughs> Ignore them? <laughs> Go somewhere else. I just wanted the gilded chest. So we can't break spawners yet, which is a big deal. Very big problem. 
just too slow. We only need one more level, and I think we can unlock mining speed as a character skill. I don't think you get XP for doing that, so it's probably not worth it. Just for looting the chests, which of course, you know, it's hard to do if you're being ganked anyway. But... The issue here, of course, is um, I can't even reach some of these, right? So, trying to break it is a fool's endeavour sometimes. So I'm just going to basically loot the ones that fizzle. <laughs> That's my goal from now on. We can still take these early vaults slowly, you know? It might be nice if they uh, had a few more obvious monoliths, but... At the moment, it's just a shoot and loot. I mean, we just want to get in, get out, don't die. That sort of thing. Um, just jump in the honey, I guess. Anything down here? No. It's very... Um, I'm not sure I'm a fan of the honey. <laughs> Jumping in it and then it's just there. It's just water. Fizzling. Yes, please. <laughs> Let's try and get as many knowledge points as we can. That's kind of our goal. I think we should have to say because being able to pick up something like um, your pouches, so that we can throw the loot around. Because being able to just chuck the loot around and then sort of keep hold of it as a result of that have it picked up for us. Very strong. Then we can start breaking chests and expect the loot to be available to us rather than just... Oh, magnet as well, I suppose, is going to be important then. Could probably move on from this room, to be honest. Unless there's something good. By the way, see if you've got the shaders installed. I don't know if I set this up, but it might be a default key. Is the zoom in key. I'm using it to see what the chests are, the distant POIs, without triggering them. Cheating, maybe. I want to go in there, but also very dangerous. We can do things like that when we're stronger, you know. Know thy limits. Know thyself. Know your limit, drink within it. Fizzling. My limits are fizzle spawners. <laughs> actually, I was trying to be facetious, but no, that is actually the case. Let them fizzle. And I'm good because you can't break them. Right? So. Hello? Oh, hello. <laughs> That's very naughty. Bad spider. No cooking. We've done, we've done the vault. Everything now is greed, which is naughty. One second. Fizzle, no fizzle. Don't fight on the bridge. Because <laughs> you'll fall off the bridge and die. We have got a lot of HP, but you know, that just makes you complacent if you start thinking along those lines. Do you know what I mean? Can I get up there? I can just... What's that sideways nerd pole called? Geek pole. There is a way up here. So there's a um Yeah. There was a shrine, but I couldn't see what type it was, and I forgot where it is, and also it seems scary. 
I think I couldn't get to it because of the baddies. Maybe I should not worry about it. Worry about traps as well. Remember I had beginner's insurance on the previous vault. I do not have this one. So, do be careful. I know there's a spider. <laughs> I just don't know where it's going to be. Where are you? Ah, I knew it. That's why I was talking about it. Do we consider ourselves... No, do we take the money and run? It was interesting. It didn't even have time to break that. No, let's go downstairs. Have we been downstairs? Yes, that was where this was. Okay. I'm going to go south again. This is how we navigate. This is how we do it, baby. Probably bring a bucket because the resources that you can get are still valuable, and not all resources can be picked up without them. I'm going to grab a couple of these. Yoink. Eight minutes. Keep an eye on your own time because there's no one else here to do it. So we've gone east. So now we can follow it south again because we went south to north. And then go back west whenever we're feeling scared. Remember, doing it that way, you can accidentally go behind the portal. Don't do that. That is my advice. Do not get it wrong. Skill issue. Hmm. That's another monolith here. Brilliant. Very nice. Poor POI is good for you. Oh, it's on cool down. Anyway. I'm going to leave. I don't want to run out of time and I don't want to over greed it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go south one and then west. It's an ores room, it's a diamonds room. I don't know if this is unique to Sky Bolts. Well, there's definitely, uh, <laughs> definitely spawners in it. Did we take some honey and stuff? Probably. Spe oh, hello. Still here, huh? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Might as well kill these blokes then, get some extra XP, and hopefully level up. Get some mining speed and be able to combat spawners and stick around. Alright, good vault. We did win it. That's sort of the main focus of this. We did level up. How many levels up? What are you doing? <laughs> Don't do that. Do I have to build you up higher? Crikey. Might as well build you up back. Okay, there's nothing for it to fall off onto now. I did build around the back, so that's cool. How much how much has been a bit? We're halfway to six, that's really good. And now we can do this. It's three, okay. Speed is two, strength is two, but haste is three, and that I think is gonna be important because we've got efficiency three on this, and that wasn't fast enough. Right, let's see. Fingers crossed it's something good. Jewels, nice lemon. Ooh. Nice to have a lemon. A new sword. A new sword. New leggings. What do we get in there? 19. That's, just, that's good. That seems pretty good. Coin affinity at 26 is really good. Wooden affinity. So that's these are going to be helpful soon because um, once we've got our pouch, we can start breaking chests and actually get the stuff out of them. So we've got another trap some chance there. Look at size 75. <laughs> another thing we really want to think about doing then is recycling them. Ooh. We want a theme organ. I believe that you just put on a crystal and you get that theme. Two relics. Amazing. Got two in here. We've got one from the 
dragon and one from which okay so we haven't got two of the same relic yet but that's cool we're getting somewhere sword two sword four and same dragons as before right so let's see what this is it's not that good <laughs> a rare sword oh nice and another scrappy sword. Let's see how this compares to this then. It's got poison cloud, the scrappy one, and this has got ten percent holy, which I assume just does more damage to undead. That's what that usually means. Uh, less damage overall, less DPS. We haven't got any of the stuff we need to make steel, refined carbon. We've only got a bit, I think. So we're going to need some more of that, and then we can start recycling stuff. Pretty good. Okay, I've done a bit of stuff. I've uh, sorted everything out, but I've also made myself a wardrobe. A wardrobe is like a like a next level armor stand. It's a Vault Hunters mod uh, edition, and all the stuff that I basically take into the vault, I've put in here. So I can just swap everything out in one click. Much like an armor stand, but a little bit more user friendly, I suppose. And I've put in here, this is the stuff that I'm going to trash. Um, I discovered that this other sword, actually, which was the scrappy one. Do you remember I found a sword just now? A rare sword, and it was better than... Like, it had holy on it, and I was going, ooh, holy, that sounds good. Um, this one's better, just in terms of attack damage. No, just in terms of attack damage. But Poison Cloud, I find, is it's going to be better than Soulbound. The sweeping hit chance is probably pretty good, but I can't rely on it, because it's basically 50%, and attack speed... I think it's taken into account when we look at the DPS, so I am going with the other one, but I'm keeping what I've got on me, well, which is in there, for now, because we want to be able to get the things enchanted a little bit better. So I'm kind of itching to do another vault, try and get to level 7, which will allow us to unlock uh, haste, which will allow us to hopefully break the spawners before they spawn a second time. Now, if you're not familiar with Vault Hunters, which I recognise some people may not be, because I've just been playing, right? I've just been running the vaults, and you've been watching me, and it's been great fun. But if you're not familiar with it, the whole point is that you want to unlock uh, mods. One of the mods we want to unlock is going to be um, the pouches mod. So the first level of pouches is just a simple... It's a second inventory, basically, but there's a addition to it that allows you to... Well, it allows it to pick things up that have been dropped off the ground. That's what I've been alluding to in the vaults commentary itself. And the way you do that is you need to combine these knowledge essences into boom, knowledge shards. So that was just nine of them, it was all nine. But these get used with um, a knowledge core, which is Benio-type, which is Benio-type. So I need one, two, three, four, times four, 16, and then eight vault diamonds for the knowledge core, and then eight of those to make a knowledge star, which will earn me the one knowledge point that it will cost me to research pouches. And we'll get into this, but as you research these things, the group starts to cost more. Oh, by buying them, they make other things cost more. But this will go up by two if I were to buy something, right? Um, so you want to be a little bit sort of strategic about the order in which you unlock things. However, I really think pouches are worth it as the first thing because it makes the looting part of the shoot and loot, which is more sort of a whack and loot, way easier, way better. So I'm going to do that as soon as I can. But we need a lot more vault loot, which is kind of sort of, you know, backwards and forwards in itself because we need to level up ourselves first, which is annoying. So let's put this stuff away. Do you know what? I'll just leave it in the leave it in the wardrobe. Switch this out. See nothing is enchanted at all. Which is probably a problem. <laughs> probably a problem. I'm gonna take these in because I've got nine of them at nine of those. I can always loot more from a you know a zero vault. Let's take another vault crystal. Let's Ooh. open it up and let's see what we get. What have I forgotten? <laughs> it's, it, I don't think we can spawn skeletons that can shoot me. Therefore, I'm not worried about you know needing to 
shoot back. Now, this is a dangerous place because these hurt. We are going east to west, east to west. I write that down first. I have forgot to bring something to mark my way. So hopefully I can pick something up. Maybe we use snow? Can I not pick it up with my hand? No. I thought that was just the fallen snow, but apparently it's all snow. Yay, first room, monolith. Again, it's very difficult not to beat monolith vaults at this stage. I can hear you up there. You just coming up my, coming my way. Ah. Bath polar bear. No ice cap. Oh jeez. There's a there's a there's a there's an elite. Uh, silence while we fight the elite. There's a hole. Don't fall down the hole. You can fall down the hole. I'm not going to fall down the hole. These these oh you see that? It lagged out on me. Why is it lagging out in <laughs> single player? How is this even a thing? Did it again. How can there be a, a disconnection between this computer and itself for any length of time at all? Keep hitting it. In theory, I should be able to keep jumping and hitting it, but, you know. Theory and practice. And the same in theory, but different in practice. Get bent. So that is a lot of XP. <laughs> That's definitely going to push us over the edge, I think. Not sure if I'm um, dreaming, but I believe that there's a chance <laughs> that as soon as you put your water bucket down trying to do an MLG, it freezes. So we want to be careful with that. Not sure if this is actually a frozen biome or just, you know, got blocks in that makes it look that way. But <laughs> I don't know if I want to risk it. So make a bounty table as well. Bounties just allow you to improve your looting by um, giving you other stuff to do inside the vault. And then if you successfully do so, you hand it in at the bounty table and just get more stuff. It's as easy as that. Not especially um, complicated. It's quests, it's missions, you know. Spruce logs are good. I want some. I think I have a spruce sapling. Maybe I'm missing spruce saplings. I don't remember seeing them. I'll have to check. He's going to ask me for spruce logs at some point, I'm pretty sure. Now I have enough unobtainium to have an infinite amount of unobtainium and use that as my looking around and getting stuff. Not getting lost. Marker stuff. I like unobtainium, as you'll know if you've seen the streams or the VODs of the streams. Um, because... Well, largely because it's a really obvious bright colour that you can't mistake for anything else. So you can see it from halfway across the room. Well, all the way across the room. Probably in the next room. Actually, that's mostly it. <laughs> I mean, I like the texture itself. It's a pretty fun texture, but predominantly I like it because... Ooh. Um, it's very different from everything else, and I struggle. You know, if you're colorblind like me, you're going to struggle with similarly colored things which are not similarly colored to other people. And titanium is not similarly colored to anything. <laughs> Please don't spawn on top of me. Don't mind if you spawn while I'm doing it, just don't spawn on top of me. We do get a lot of XP for running alive in this many mobs. <laughs> you know, as long as they're not threatening us with extinction, we shouldn't worry about how many spawn. And then, look, another one. So, we, again, you can just walk down the main path of these and succeed. Still got 13 minutes left. 
is, is a vast difference from how it used to be. If you haven't seen the earlier episodes of the stream where we were struggling with this sort of thing. Oh boy, it's a big difference. Oh, you're still squatching around, are you? You need drier boots, mate. You're noisy as heck. There you go. <laughs> How to tempt it. You can always make Dad come home from work by putting the kettle on. You can always make sure someone will phone you when you're expecting it. By going to the toilet. You can always make sure that the spawner will spawn by opening the chest. By trying to break it, I suppose. That was a very lucrative chest. I've probably got some um, plus item quantity 4%, item rarity 12%. That's really nice. Ah, dang it. Again, <laughs> I I got that right. I just got it wrong right. Does that make sense? Don't forget your shulker box. I haven't actually forgotten one yet. I'm doing much better. I, I've got over it, you know. Got over my disease. Be gone. I'm not going to do this, am I? No chance. Oh. Ah! I pressed Q instead of 1. Go away! Thank you. Goodness me. I didn't need to press 1. Oh, I did need to press 1. I pressed 1 and Q. Ah, that's why I threw my sword. Okay. Couldn't figure it out. I was like, hang on. Why would that throw my sword away? I was pressing one because I didn't have my sword out. Yeah, I pressed both fat fingers. <laughs> Looting. I do want the loot. These are doing these are pretty good chests I've been getting. Why are you so fast on the ice? I object. Come on, I've only got seven minutes. Get spawning. Thank you. Definitely need to break this one because there's no way I'm going to mine all this. Wait. That thing's spawning on top of me all the time. It's another not bothering to spend the whole time vault. But we had an elite. We've done the... We've done the thing, Julie. And we got a lot of stuff. Not much knowledge essence. I didn't really see any living chests. We got one or two from not living chests. But... Hello. Yeah. Kind of weird that they all look like Yogg's Castle Lewis. Can't, um... Can't vein mine that because I can't mine it in the first place. Interesting. I didn't know. I assume that's why. I was <laughs> acting like an authority of something I didn't know about. Presuming that because it's not a shovel, I can't vein mine it because it requires a shovel. An X marks room. You are joking. I'm not greeting an X marks room on the very last. I've got four minutes. I'm not. I'm not risking death. Also, I'm not sure I can get out if I do it wrong, you know. Claim it. Three unspent skill points. I didn't need to worry about it falling off the edge today. So let's immediately get um, haste. Because it's really valuable for breaking those spawners. And then um, we can sort out all this bolt loot that we've got. Ooh. Ooh. Some more silver, nice. Little stacks over here. Some more bronze. Oops. Another axe. Some more leggings. 
Meanwhile, big wooden affinity, no good. Small, big durability. Small wooden affinity, pretty okay. Big mining speed, no good. Small trap disarm chance with a decent, con decent percentage. So, not too bad. Nope. It's worse because it's worse. Alright, well I think that'll do it for this episode. That's two vaults and a bunch of building. Uh, we've got some more vaults to do. We've reached level 6 and so now we've got some mining speed. But this is going to be the game loop <laughs> for a while now. Uh, until we can get some mods unlocked. So we're going to need to gather a whole bunch more materials to build our base. Obviously it's a sky block. And then we're going to need to try and get the, you know, the vault loot that we need to be able to do the stuff to actually play the game because we've got all these mods to unlock and we're already level 6 and we haven't even got nearly towards a vault essence yet so we also need to figure out eight we've got one villager but how are we going to structure these villagers where are we going to put them and are we going to try and breed them can we does that work here not sure um and we need to basically we need to find a way of enchanting things although maybe we just keep running vaults and getting free loot I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. I've been Altrius. This is Altrius Plays. This is Vault Hunters Sky Vault, Sky Block, Sky Everything. Amazing. Check out the survival multiplayer series we've got going on on Twitch. Links in the description below. You get the idea. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.